Here's how we would get input from the user in order to open a file. Now, by the way, there's really not enough validation really in this set of code that I give you. But there is some validation when it comes to the stream states that we talked about earlier. In this, we have, whatever it comes to any type of file I.O. that you and I are working with, we're always going to have to include fstream. So just a heads up on that. After that, we get our normal code that we have. We're doing our string. We see in. Again, there really needs to be some validation that the file name was, well, it had a dot in it. That It's a format check more than anything else like that. So that might be a function that you would pass it on to or whatever. But pretending that you did that, we then go ahead and try to open up that file, which you've seen before, and then we do a check. There's actually two items that we're, we can use here, and I'm highlighting both of them right now. One is the is open, but notice I'm using the not in front of that. And you've seen that before when we went through some of our stream stuff. The other one is dot fail. That's the other state that we talked about as one. Now notice there's no uh, not symbol in front of that. So using either one is at least some type of validation to actually see if the file was open. Now, this will be the exact same thing that you would want to do, even if we're doing an out file. You want to make sure that all that data that you're about to dump out, make sure everything's okay with that stream. That's what we're going to need in order to do that. So the rest, which would be literally below the code I give you, is really all the manipulation of what we're going to be doing with the data. We'll get hot and heavy into that here in a little bit. So, But at least wanted to show you what it's looking like when we open up a file for either input or for output. We're just checking to make sure the stream is good so far.